Is snoring dangerous? That's the question that we're going to answer coming up. Welcome to Family Med. I'm Dr. Richardson, and this is your home for practical and accurate information to help your family make healthy decisions. This is the channel that focuses on bringing better health to your home. Welcome to one of our series that we're doing here at Family Med, where we answer your questions. Now, if you have a question for us that you'd like us to answer, leave it in the comments below and we'll try to address it. And so you don't miss out on any important questions, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along with us. The question that we're going to be answering today is whether or not snoring is dangerous. This is actually a question I get a lot. Now, there are some obvious immediate answers to this question, and that would be a definite yes. What would be the most immediate problem with snoring? Well, the first problem is it significantly increases your risk of being elbowed really hard in the middle of the night by your spouse. As well, there have been some reported cases of roommates being injured by flying shoes or other hard objects in the middle of the night. Not to mention the real danger of depression associated with being banished to another room at night by your spouse. These are real issues that you may want to address, but they aren't the main answer to the question today. Snoring happens when the tissues around your mouth and throat relax and vibrate as you breathe when you're asleep. We all do it now and then, but for some, it's a chronic problem. And to answer the question of the day, it can be dangerous. Normal snoring when you're sick or just a little extra tired isn't necessarily a problem or dangerous. But when it's a chronic issue, it can indicate a serious underlying medical condition. The most common serious condition that chronic snoring can be associated with is a condition called obstructive sleep apnea. Now, not all snorers have sleep apnea, but most all people who have sleep apnea will snore. This is a condition where the tissue around your neck relaxes so much while sleeping that it starts to cut off your airway and you stop breathing. This can become a significant problem. In severe cases of sleep apnea, people can stop breathing over 30 to even sometimes 100 times an hour. As you can imagine, this can be a very dangerous and scary thing. But the funny thing about it though is typically the person going through it is asleep through the whole thing. They don't even know what's going on. But the problem is that even though they aren't awake, their body is fighting to keep them alive all night long. As you can imagine, it doesn't let them get the rest they need. This can lead to problems like excessive fatigue during the day, an increased risk of accidents, high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, depression, and obesity, among some other things. So how do you know if your type of snoring is dangerous? Well, the most common symptoms would include significant snoring, witness breathing pauses during sleep, excessive daytime sleepiness, morning headaches, sore throat upon waking up, and gasping and choking at night. If you or a loved one have these symptoms like these, then make sure you get into your doctor so you can be tested. So, is snoring dangerous? The short answer is that if it's minor and occasional, then no. But if it's chronic in nature, it could mean that you have sleep apnea, and that definitely needs to be looked into. So hopefully you found this to be helpful. If so, do me a favor, give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode if I have a question. And if you have your own question that you'd like us to answer, make sure you let us know in the comments below and we'll try to answer it in a future video. So until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Richardson and remember, take care of your body because it's the only one you have.